Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll talk about the upgraded and new school attendance register and report, the Excel template. This is an upgraded version of the template that I published a few weeks earlier. And the key enhancements in this new template are, number one, now we have complete flexibility in choosing which days of the week are considered weekends in your school or educational institution or in your workplace. Number two, you can now track and enter information about the late attendance by students. In the earlier version of the template, you could only enter whether the student was present or absent on any given day. In this new template, you have the flexibility to um, enter whether the student was present on time or present late. And that also is, is included in the calculations that we do to create the report. Now, in just to do a quick recap of the purpose of this um, template, this template can be used as an attendance register tool and um, the tool automates creation of the class attendance reports and then the student attendance reports, which could be printed and handed over to the students and also used by the teachers to understand which students have um, some issues with attendance. And this can be used in schools, educational institutions, and also in workplaces where you want to track attendance and create reports out of it. And this uh, template is available for you to download for free from inzara.blogspot.com. And when you go to this blog post, which details um, about the specific template and how to use the template, you will find that there are two documents for you to download. The first one is the actual template. That's what you would use um, to create these attendance registrant reports for your scenarios. But there's also another document, which is basically the Excel template filled with some sample data. Um, this is just to illustrate how the template functions and also how the reports look like. In this video, we'll start with looking over the sample data to illustrate the features and functions of this template. This is our Excel template with the sample data filled in. So at the top, you have the school information where I've entered the name, address, and then the slogan for the school, and then some information about the class, name of the class, and then the teacher name. And then we have the academic year that you would fill in, and then the begin date and the end date. So these are the dates during which your, your, your academic year exists, and so this is where you would like to monitor and track the attendance of your students or employees. And then we have the minimum required attendance rate, so this is um, important for the calculations in this template. Uh, if the student student's attendance rate is below this, then we consider that to be um, a failure. If the student's attendance rate is at least 80%, for example, in this case, then the student is considered to have passed based on the attendance. And then we have this table here where you can set your own weekends. So this is where we have made the changes to this version of the template where there is a lot more flexibility. So for example here, in the sample data, I have chosen all the Sundays to be weekends or holidays, so they're not working days. And then the second Saturday of every month is also not a working day. So this will be taken into account by the template when it calculates the working days and so this is where you could choose if, for example, in, in your scenario, if you have second and fourth Saturdays to be um, non-working days, so this is where you go and say yes. So that automatically um, updates the template ne as necessary. So then we will go into the last section here, which is about holidays. So this is where you would enter any school holidays you may have um, for example, you know, in this sample data, I've entered Children's Day, New Year's Day, and Tamil New Year's Day, um, and then entered the actual date. So what this does is then these dates will, will also be considered as non-working days in this template and will be used in the calculations accordingly. So we have up to 20 days that you can enter here as holidays in addition to setting your weekends as non-working days as well. So uh, between these, you have complete flexibility to choose the working days for your school scenario. So now that's the end of entry in the settings worksheet. Let's move on to the next uh, step, which is nothing but going to the attendance register. 
So this is where you would actually uh, enter information about your students and also where they present or absent or late on any given day. Um, there are a few things that you want to note here. Um, right at the beginning, there are some instructions here. Uh, it's very simple to use. You just have to enter the student information and then you go to the entry section and then enter P for if the student is present on time, L if the student is present late and A for absent. So when you click in any cell here, you will see that those are the three options you have and you would have to choose one of those. And at the top, there are some gray colored cells and these are cells which have formula in them and they, all, they automatically calculate things for you. For example, the 1st of November, um, there were 35 students who were present on time. There were nobody who was late and then 15 people were absent. And then the next day, 2nd of November, 50 pre everybody was present on time and no late or no absentees. Uh, so these are calculated automatically and that gives you a quick um, summary of what happens on that day. And then on the left here, again, there's a calculated field. This gives you a view of how many days has a specific student been absent in this academic year. And this is also helpful for um, the teacher or the instructor to know which students are having some problems with attendance very quickly. Now our work is done in terms of entry. Now it's time to look at the reports. So we can, let's get started with the class report. So go to class report. And here at the top, there's a message here that says no errors in your data. Um, and if you have some errors, some errors would pop up here. In this case, there are no errors. So that's good news. So we can use the report. And this is how the report looks like. There's nothing else for you to enter or change here. It's all re ready to go. You can just print that, print it immediately. Um, here, your school information and the class information are at the top. And then here is a summary. How many students were in the class? How many working days in the academic year? And what is the overall attendance rate, average attendance rate? And then how many students are not meeting the attendance requirements? So this is based on the minimum attendance required that you had set in the settings worksheet. And when you scroll down, you will see the class attendance rates by month and also the number of working days by month and also overall. And when you scroll further down, you will see individual student and each student's attendance rate every month. And you would see that some students records are highlighted in red font and that is nothing but these students overall attendance rate is below the attendance rate that we require and for example here we we said that there are nine students who did not meet the attendance requirements you can easily find out who those nine students are by just glancing at this doc um, glancing at the table below with um, this, those specific nine students records highlighted in red font that's pretty much it. At the bottom, you have your um, principal and class teacher signatures placeholders. So you can print this document and then, you know, you can have the signatures and date it and then hand it, hand it over to the principal or the teacher. And now we go to the last step. After we have seen the class attendance report, let's go to the student attendance report. So in this student attendance report, it works very similarly to the class report, except that you could choose, you would have to choose the student for whom you want to have the report for. So in this case, I would go to this drop-down menu and choose a specific student. And let's say I chose student one, and immediately this report gets populated with information about that one specific student. And uh, in this case, for the student has passed the requirement because he got a 92% attendance rate um, and he was absent for 14 days in this academic year. And when you scroll further down, there's more summary of how many working days in each month, how many days the student was present, how many days absent, how many days where he was late, and also the attendance rate is calculated. And when you scroll further down, you have more detail about that student's uh, attendance behavior or performance. So every month or every day in every month, you will see what, what was the student's attendance behavior. So was he present on time, which, re which is represented by P, was he present late, which is represented by L. Um, w represents weekends. H represents um, holidays. And if you see a zero, that means the data for that day has not been entered by the teacher or the instructor yet. And as like the class attendance report, there are placeholders for signatures and you could print 
this document, sign, and then hand it over to the student as a student attendance report. That's all we have in this template. And uh, we went through the sample data in the template. And I, if you like this template, and if you think this could be helpful in your scenario, then I would suggest that you go back to our blog and download the actual template, not the one with the sample data. And that would actually look something like this. So everything will be empty. You will get started um, fresh in this template and you would start entering your own information. And as soon as you start entering information in the settings and then also in the attendance register, automatically the class attendance report and the student attendance report will be populated and then you could print them and then use them. So that's all we have. Once again, these templates are available from inzara.blogspot.com for you to download. And if you have any questions about this template or if your scenario needs some tweaks or changes to this um, template, please let me know and uh, please provide your feedback um, at inzara.blogspot.com. And also, if you like this template, please uh, take a look at some of my other templates over here. And um, also, if you have any ideas or suggestions for other templates, please um, send me an email or you know drop a comment on my blog. I look forward to hearing your feedback. And um, thanks for watching this video.